Now, how many of you have ever seen this, this uh, formation fly? Raise your hand if you've seen them. Okay, who, who can tell me their name? Yeah, the United States, or the, not, yeah, the United States Navy has an extraordinary team called the Blue Angels. So raise your hands again, sorry, I couldn't see. Congratulations, those of you who raised your hands have seen the second greatest demonstration team in the world. <laughs> but my question is, how many of you have seen the best? <laughs> so the United States Air Force Thunderbirds, you know I love my Blue Angel friends, but you gotta have a joke sometime. Now one of the other things, sound of freedom, you like the jet noise in the back? <laughs> one of the other things I think it takes to be the best, right, is to walk a different path than other people. I think someone asked in the back, what does it take to stay in front of the competition? Well, the fact of the matter is, is that you don't keep doing and following the path that's already been plowed before, you plow your own. Whether your idea is different, whether the process isn't that way, whether it requires some kind of organizational, cultural change, change in your personal life, you have to be comfortable being uncomfortable, you have to be willing to risk being different. And in this case, I harbored a dream that was a little different. Have you ever had a dream that was like so gnarly and so out there that it's just audacious and you, you won't even let it enter your own mind, let alone say it to anybody? I'm gonna rock the boat. My idea or my team's idea is gonna completely buck the status quo. That's what has to happen if you're gonna stay in front of the competition. That's what has to happen if you need to be the best. 